What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwood, and I'm back again today bringing you guys another episode of the Pink Slip series here on my channel. And today, guys, we are playing another game where we actually are going up against, against an opponent who won earlier today in a play-in game against somebody on stream. He won that game, I think, 27 to zero. So he is a very, very good player. Uh, he pretty much destroyed his opponent. He had a 99 overall team. Um, I, I got to see a little bit of his gameplay, so I'm feeling a little bit better. I know that he's got a decent running game. He uses Jerome Bettis, so I'm expecting a lot of strong power runs. Um, and then he goes deep a lot as well over the middle. So I'm gonna try my best to slow that kind of stuff down. But I, I was watching his defense and I just didn't really know what to do against him. So hopefully I'm able to, uh, you know, put something together at least so that I'm not in just a horrible situation in the second half of the game where I need to be throwing the entire game. However, I did make some improvements to my team and I will be doing a lineup update. We're not going to do it in today's video, but you guys will see my lineup. So if you know any of the players, call them out in the comment section if you want to or whatever. But I'm really interested in playing this game. I'm excited for it. We are playing for Team MVP Calvin Johnson and Team MVP. MVP Richard Sherman this week so I wish my opponent luck and let's get into the game first play on offense and we are gonna run the ball right at him here hopefully we can uh, get him worried about the run right away and we get off the edge oh and he fumbles of course that is not a good start to the game <laughs> but thankfully it went out of bounds that could have been a horrible horrible beginning to the game but uh, we just got to keep trusting Chris Johnson. He usually doesn't fumble like that, so I can't get overly worried about it. Just need to keep running this football. Second and one now, and we're going to run that same play just to the opposite side. Hopefully we can get some blocking here. And we do. He committed way too far to the inside there. We're going to get a big gain here. That spin move, though, on the back juke. We get a big gain there on second down to pick up a big first down. And that takes us one step closer to scoring position on this drive. So it's first and 10 now, and I'm going to try and go play action here because I've hit him twice with this run, and I hope that he'll commit to it. And he did, it looks like. We've got our tight end open, and he drops it. Oh, Gronk, come on. I should have thrown it to Donald Penn there. He wasn't covered at all. Second and 10 now, and I'm going to run my Jerome Bettis. I know he's got one. I'm going to run him right up the middle here. Let's go, baby. Run, Bettis. Look at that beast. Picking up six there. Nice, nice gain there on second down. Third and four now. I'm going to try and run this ball again. I like that he moved his corner back there. He did. Perfect. That is a perfect, perfect setup for me. Should be gone here. And we are. Chris Johnson gets into the end zone on the first drive, baby. That's how we do it, son. That is how we do it. So it is now the first drive for me on defense here. And I know he likes to run that ball to the right. And I have to make sure that he doesn't do it. Sorry, my dogs are going crazy, of course. And he picks up a nice game there on the first drive. So my uh, outside defense really didn't do anything there, and I'm not real happy about it. And he's going to run it again here. Same exact play, and that time we get him in the backfield. Derek Thomas makes a nice play. Second and 12 now. Got to be careful that he doesn't run off the edge. So he's moving his tight end over here. We'll see if that means he's going to run this way. Nope. He's just going to continue to pass, and he's going to try and throw on the run, isn't he? Oh, nope. He didn't quite get it off, and we get the sack. Charles Woodson comes off of coverage and makes a nice sack in the backfield. Only a loss of two for him, but still a nice play by my defense. So it is third and long now on the first drive of the game, and I'm just going to do my best here to not allow a deep ball. Obviously, I'm committing to the pass here. Oh, man. What can you do there? Andre Johnson broke free of the, of the press there. Charles Woodson couldn't hold him off, and he picks up the first down. Expecting more run here. He loves that outside run to the right. Uh, we'll see what he does here. He does decide to go to the left here, but we still kind of tackle him. He only gained five there. I'm okay with that. I'm not going to worry about five yards. Four wide again here, and I'm expecting pass, obviously. Runs a nice screen pass, and we tackle him after a gain of, what, three there? So it's going to bring up a third and short now for us. All right, third and two, and he's going to run off the right side again, and we meet him. Oh, and he trucked me right over. That is Ray Lewis, ladies and gentlemen. Le'Veon Bell just ran, ran over Ray Lewis like he wasn't even there. First down. All right, first and ten. He is passing here. I want him to throw that. Oh, man. I was hoping he was going to go to Gronk there. That could have been an interception for me. Second and ten. Oh, wow. Force that fumble. Come on. Nice first down pick up there. I couldn't stop the, the pass over the middle. I know he loves making those throws right over the middle like that. So I'm going to have to try and figure something out. 
probably with my linebackers and dropping them a little bit further into coverage. Um, but, you know, it's it's sometimes tough with those passes over the middle. This game, it, it, it's really overpowered to pass over the middle like that. So he's back in this formation where he likes to run to the right. Um, this could be an audible where he's going to go left. Nope. Wow. Kills me with the corner route there with his tight end, and he is just marching down the field here on this first drive. Oh, again, force that fumble. Huge, baby. That's what I like to see, Ray Lewis. You made up for getting your ass ran over earlier in the drive, baby. Love that. Huge, huge fumble force there by Ray Lewis. First and 10, we are going right back to the running game. It worked pretty effectively for me on the first drive. And that nah, didn't work there on the first play, at least. Second and nine, and it's time to try and hit him with a buck sweep here. Um, really hoping that Derek Thomas doesn't get off the edge. And he didn't, so we've got blocking. Look at Gronk knocking guys down. We are off to the races with Chris Johnson. Derek Thomas is probably going to catch me from behind. How repulsive is that? He almost caught me from behind with a linebacker. I have a 99 speed running back. Actually, is what is he, 100 speed? I mean, I have no words. These guys are just so ridiculous. This pursuit in this game is out of control. So we just hit him for a nice gain there. And uh, I'm going to try and go with the read option here. I'm expecting that he's going to probably commit on the quarterback, but we'll see. Nope, he didn't. So we are going to take off here with Cam Newton. And we've got blocking, it looks like. Is he going to get in? Touchdown, Cam Newton. That read option, the buck sweep read option worked out really well for me there. And we are up two scores now early in this game. So he cashed in on that fumble on the first drive that we forced. And now it's time to continue to play some defense. Uh, try and force some turnovers again. I'm just going to smash him with his... <laughs> with his uh, uh, running backs if he's going to continue to try and run like that um, Eventually those Sean Taylor's and those Brian Dawkins are going to force fumbles So I just have to be confident and just stick with the system. Don't let them run all over me Third and one now DeMarco Murray is in the backfield. I'm assuming that's the 99 Murray and look at him getting that truck Picks up the first down not a whole lot we could do there. We hit him. We probably should have made the stop, but Marco Murray with that uh, that crazy trucking that they gave him on that final edition card. What are you going to do? Oh, Brian Dawkins, baby. He saw that I was spying that uh, that screen pass, I think, and he decided to go deep, and Brian Dawkins makes a massive interception. That could potentially put us into position to, put up, to go up three scores here in the first half, and I'm feeling very, very good about it right now. 26 seconds left. I'm expecting that he's probably going to assume I'm going to go to the right here, but I am going to actually go off to the left here, so hopefully he doesn't see this coming. And he didn't. Oh, are we going to break it? No, not quite. Get a decent gain there. About six yards. Third and two, and I am going to run the ball here, and the reason for it is because I want him to use his final timeout, and I'm not worried if I only end up with three on the drive. I'm probably going to end up with only three on the drive unless I break this play, so it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, but like I said, I want him to use that final timeout. And we do get some blocking here. We've got some blocking. It's been moved. Oh, all right. Timeout, timeout, timeout. All right, we've got eight seconds left. Probably got one play maybe uh, before we do need to uh, kick the field goal and try and just go up uh, th uh, 17 before the end of the half. Okay, we've got eight seconds left. Get him, Donald. Oh, tackled at the one. Oh, he got in. They're calling that a touchdown. Really? I'll take it, but I don't think he was in at all. I don't think he was in at all. So they did end up giving me that touchdown. I'm kind of astonished by it. I don't understand how that was a touchdown, but I will absolutely accept it. Just going to try and protect the deep ball here, and we've easily got this. No Get over here. Nice interception there, actually, by Sherman, and that should end the half. Uh, very, very nice first half for me. We are up three touchdowns, and I am going to be kicking off here to start the second half, though. So, you know, there is still an opportunity for him to come back, but he's going to need to stop throwing interceptions. Uh, that fumble on the first drive was just bad luck, but, you know, at the end of the day, though, he does need to really take care of the football, and he also is, of course, going to need to make some stops on defense in order to turn this game around for him. So with him being down three scores to start the second half, I am going to expect more passing. I'm assuming that he's probably going to come out and try and run early in this half, but um, he's going to have to pass if he wants to come back into this one. Oh, another huge hit there by Sean Taylor. He just cannot continue to allow his receivers to take those kind of hits, or he is going to lose the ball. I know Mike Allstott's a beast, but that is dangerous to go head-to-head -head against Sean Taylor. That is just a crazy, crazy decision. 
Second and three now after he picked up seven there on that short pass to his fullback. I'm going to expect the run here, and he does go play action. No getting beat deep here. Sean Taylor, that user pick. Get lurked, baby. Get lurked. Oh, that's how we do it. That is how we do it. We take the ball back again. We are in scoring position again to potentially go up four scores here. Um, we've only got to kick a field goal to go up three scores with the two-point conversions, but a touchdown would definitely put us into great position to potentially seal this game before uh, the fourth quarter even begins. Back to running the football here. Look at Donald Penny. He's going to beast this guy. See ya. Marshawn into the end zone. We are up 28 to 0. This game is going absolutely, everything is going well for me at this point. I cannot make any complaints at all. My defense is playing amazingly. They're making interceptions. They're forcing fumbles. My guys are blocking on offense. I was really, really worried going into this one, but I think that this game is kind of in, in hand at this point. So it is 28 to 0 now. And again, like I said, I feel pretty good about my chances at this point. Um, I'm expecting plenty of passes here in, to end this half. So he picked up nine on the first play of this drive. But uh, let's see if we can stop him here. And he is actually going to run. Wow. Kind of surprised there. I'm really not worried about him running at this point. Just like last week, if he wants to run, I will definitely allow it. He's just going to keep on clicking down that time. And uh, that just feeds right into what I want at this point in the game. So Le'Veon Bell really hasn't done much at all. Uh, DeMarco Murray really hasn't done much at all. My run defense has been pretty solid. It's going over the top. Oh, we should have gotten another pick. Oh, he threw it right to me. Ugh. I can't really complain after I've gotten these other interceptions, but that one definitely should have been a pick. Hit him. Oh, come on. DeMarco Murray is a beast. I haven't seen this card in action before, but he has made a couple of nice plays uh, for him right now. And, uh, you know, it's one of those cards where I, I'm kind of surprised that they made a 99 overall DeMarco Murray card. I'm a Cowboys fan, but I'm still kind of surprised by it. But he is definitely playing like a 99 card when he hits me. I'm going to run up the middle. We make the tackle after a gain of seven. Uh, I'm totally fine, like I said, with allowing him to run, so he can just continue to do that all game for all I care. He's going to pass again here, and it's a short little pass. Wow, I can't believe he broke that. But Charles Woodson hits him and knocks him down, short of the first down. Third and one now. I'm kind of expecting a run here, but I wouldn't be that surprised if he goes play action, so I'm not going to overcommit on it. Um, you know, like I said, it, it really wouldn't be a surprise to me if he does decide to go deep. And he does pick it up anyway. Michael Irvin picks up a seven-yard completion. Not a bad gain for him there. He does pick up the first down. The clock continues to tick down on him here. We've got 18 seconds left here in the third quarter. Throw it. Oh, baby. Another user pick. Derek Brooks gets the interception. That is one of my favorite players to play with in this game. I absolutely love that Derek Brooks card. And he gets a beautiful interception for me there on that drive. Here we go. Back on offense, and it's Cam Newton show potentially here. Yep, he didn't commit. He did not commit. Look at Cam. He's going to take off. Hit him. Oh, no. Oh, Calvin picks it up and continues to run, though. I didn't even know. I thought that was against the rules in the NFL now, but I guess not. Well, when things are going well, things are absolutely going well. As I recover that fumble, um, you know, it's, it's tough for him at this point because... He's really going to have to try and stop my offense, uh, but he does need to get some turnovers here. He's got to score on offense as well if he wants any chance. We are in the fourth quarter at this point, and it is very, very slim chance that he's going to be able to come back at this point. So since this game is kind of getting out of hand, I am going to try something that I never, never try, and that is just a standard... Well, I guess not standard, but it's just a run out of the wildcat formation. I, Like I said, I've never done anything like this, so I have no idea if it's going to work. And he just gets destroyed. <laughs> I'm really not surprised. I'm really not surprised. Did force him to use a timeout, though, so it's whatever. So after that punt, he is going to take over here on offense. And again, I'm expecting more passing. He's got to pass if he wants to win this game. And oh, I thought that was going to be a pick six. He threw that directly to Charles Woodson. 
he is really having trouble with zone defense, and it can be hard sometimes to, to pick apart zone defense, especially when you've got good players like I do. Um, so I don't really, I'm not really that surprised by that. And look at him just taking off with Jerome Bettis as he shrugs off Brian Dawkins and picks up a nice gain there. Um, again, not worried about the run. He can continue to run all he wants. If he wants to pick up 15 with the run, that's totally fine with me. I'm not going to sit and commit on it. Yep, picked up, what, six there? It's all right, he can pick up six all he wants. There's gonna be a play action here. And, uh, did he pick up the first down? Yes, he did. Yep, Le'Veon Bell is in now. Expecting another play action, we get it. And does make the completion there to Gronk. I was kind of thinking that he was gonna try and go deeper there, so I dropped off of Gronk to go deep. Uh, but, you know, he threw it short, that's fine. Good. Good decision by him. Another run here. I think he's just trying to put points on the board by the end of the game to avoid, avoid the embarrassment. I don't really blame him. Um, this game did not go his way. He has had a lot of turnovers, and, you know, that can just be really frustrating sometimes. Oh, another pick. Ray Lewis. Look at that monster. He is an absolute beast. This is my first game that I've played with him, and I am loving that card. It's the Madden 25 Ray Lewis, and I think he pretty much just secured this game. Second and 15 here after a, a big loss there. I took a, a terrible loss there, uh, but what can you do? I'm not really too worried about it at this point. Let's go, CJ. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Chris Johnson. He is off to the races, and he is not going to be caught. Those moves, though. And that is going to put us up five touchdowns with less than a minute left. Not trying to rub it in, but, you know, when you break that kind of a play, you kind of got to go for the touchdown. You just kind of have to. And that is going to end yet another week of pink slips. I do shut out my opponent this week, 35-0. to zero. Pretty happy with my performance. Um, didn't allow him to do really anything on offense. He drove down the field on that first drive, but we forced that fumble. Uh, we got a couple clutch interceptions. And, you know, it... It's one of those things, I kind of have like a bend but don't break philosophy on defense. I force a lot of interceptions because I kind of try and bait people in. I want them to throw over the middle and over the over the course of a game, I'm going to be able to make the reads, especially if they continue to run out of the same formations and those same type of patterns. I'm going to see him coming and I'm going to see that he hit that same kind of pattern on the previous drive and try and make a user pick on it. And I did that a couple times in this game. So again, I feel pretty good about how I played. Hopefully he enjoyed the game. I know it was, obviously it's tough to really enjoy it when you when you take this kind of a beating, but um, you know, whatever. It, it's kind of, a, it's a tough thing because I, I don't want to say that he played extremely well because he threw so many interceptions, but he really didn't play that bad because he did drive down the field quite a few times. He just threw untimely interceptions and, you know, and then he got that fumble, of course, which there's really not much he could do on that. And, of course, he forced two fumbles on me, and both of them, I think, were recovered by my team, or one of them might have gone out of bounds or something, but uh, I got very, very lucky on those turnovers. Uh, the turnover differential was certainly the difference maker in this one, and it was the reason that I walked away with a win. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's game. If you did, make sure you press that like button below. Don't forget to leave a comment. I have plenty of awesome cards now to play for you guys against in pink slips, so if you're interested in anything that you saw, again, I know I didn't do a lineup update. I will do a lineup update over the next couple of days but uh if you saw anything in the in the lineup that you want to play for next week pretty much anything at all at this point let me know and we will potentially put that card on the line next week in pink slips tune in next tuesday and you will see another episode of the announcement video where i will tell you guys how to enter and it's going to be the same thing as this week where you play against somebody and then the winner plays against me just because i'm trying to get better competition i mean 35 to 0 doesn't really show that, but I'm definitely playing better teams at this point than I was earlier in Pink Slips. So I'm going to try and do some other stuff as well. Uh, we're probably going to be doing some giveaways over the next couple of weeks. So definitely pay attention to the channel and you guys might be able to win some awesome cards because I have a bunch to give away right now because of some very generous people who donated to my team. So I really appreciate that from all those guys. Thank you guys again for tuning in and watching and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.